veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearrange Hi guys, welcome back to Breakfast with Miss Shine, but it is nighttime. It is 10 o'clock on Wednesday, 19th. I just got home at 8.45 p.m. from work. This is the only thing that I can put on. My Betsy Johnson pajamas, two pieces. Hello Kitty, not even the good robe, the Hello Kitty holy robe, several holes in it, that's all I can give for y'all. Hair is not even washed and flat ironed, it's in just this little neat bun, that's all I got. But, let me tell y'all, first of all, take a look at my late night snack, <laughs> you are going to laugh. Food is cooked nine times out of ten. Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. That's when I got all the goodies for y'all. Breakfast. I got dinners. I got early dinners, lunches. Got all the things, right? Tonight, this is a makeshift meal. I have for you guys. Uh-oh. Don't tip over now. I have... Rice with sharp cheddar cheese, buffalo kind of strips or tenders from Denny's, and some ranch dressing. That is all I have for you guys tonight. This is very embarrassing. It's even on a piece of foil because I always heat up my food in the oven because I feel like it tastes better. I don't know if you guys do that. But I heat up my food in the oven. It tastes good. It tastes better. I feel like it stays hot longer. And that's why I use it. Um, but tonight, that's all I can do. I'm tired. Anyway, I came on here to tell you guys about, well, to have a little horoscope chat. I don't know if you guys really look at your horoscopes or I'm pretty much like a YouTube Horoscope, horoscope, whore. So I have like specific YouTubers that I like to watch. But as of like between yesterday and today, I listened to at least like, I'm going to say like four or five different ones. And I listened to them specifically. Like, hold on. Let me tell you exactly how I watch them or listen to them. So every time I listen to... Um, one of the YouTube um, astrologers or um, tarot card readers, I pretty much listen to them as long as I feel like they're resonating with me. Meaning that each thing they're saying sounds very familiar. It's so close to my real life. So meaning like if somebody's saying like, oh, somebody is, um, one of your friends is, stalking you ain't nobody stalking me that's not me that ain't this ain't for me that's so you kind of automatically know when it's not for you it's not for you so just move on to another horoscope or go back to that person when you feel like they're kind of spot on with what's going on in your life then continue to hear out what they're saying because you got to remember they read energy with the cards and they're not specifically reading for you. So they could pick up on all, any person of your sign. So you got to kind of have like a good idea about what they're saying. So anyway, so I was listening again. I listened to a few of them. I never listened to just one. I listened to a few and I listened to different like um, their takes on what the energy is like. And that makes the most sense to me. Like, you can't say, like, your dog is going to be barking outside and then the lights are going to cut on. Like, that's too specific. That doesn't make any sense. You don't even know me. So, you have to kind of zone into, like, what the, what energy they're getting back from the reading to see, like, what that's going to be like. So, my friend asked me today, she said, 
what's your horoscope been like recently? And I said, you know what? It's kind of crazy. But my horoscope keeps saying, like, I'm going to be, like, a millionaire. And I'm going to have, like, this fantastic business. And all of this money is going to come in. And that makes sense. Because if I'm not mistaken, Jupiter is going to be ruling right now until May. So that's probably why everybody's not going to get the same thing, right? And not that everybody's not necessarily going to be a millionaire or a billionaire, but what they're saying is if you're, if you worked on something, if you are um, working on businesses or you're putting your energy and efforts into something, that's going to be fruitful. That's the goal. That's, that's why you have to listen with like some sort of like discretion. You have to like understand what they're saying. So basically like kind of like listen and say like, you know what? I have been working on something or like I have been thinking about exactly what I'm going to do and I have been very on point with being strategic. So that's like a good thing. So that was one thing. So it's one specific tarot reader that was like, for some reason, I listened to her twice because the first time I listened, I didn't hear exactly what she was saying because I was working and listening to it at the same time. So I was like, wait, let me go back. I got to hear what she's saying. So when she got towards the end, she was like, it's so many pinnacles. Pinnacles are usually money. They're gifts or money or something. So something, awards, gifts, money. She was like, it's so many pinnacles in this reading. I can't, it has to be something awesome coming to you. Like you have to be about to be rich. Like I can't deny it. The reading is, is giving so much. I, I, it was so good. Her name is Scent Star. Um, she's usually pretty on point, by the way, for me, for me. Um, and I was like, almost like. I already know that for some reason. What a weird thing, right? Like, I'm listening to it and they're like, you know what? That is going to happen. That's all I could think of. Um, not that I really know, but I just had a feeling about it for some strange reason. And then it didn't help that she was saying like, oh, somebody that used to um kind of like a revenge in a way but not revengeful like you're not being revengeful but the fact that you're going to be doing like so excellent and thriving and doing great that person is gonna look back like oh did i make a mistake hmm i was like hmm i didn't hear that part in the first part of the reading so i was like hmm there might be something, somebody that they might look back and think that that was in my life. But what does it matter, right? When you don't want somebody, you don't want somebody. I'm good with that. There's lots of fish in this sea. Don't get hung up on one person if they're not interested anymore. I think my thing about it is if you're not interested anymore or at all, it's fine. It's fine with me. I don't mind you to go away, but just tell me. And I'm not a person that is going to kill myself to make sure that you're interested. I'm more like, if you're not interested, just go away. Because I need to move on. It's more like that. Does it hurt my feelings? Probably. But I don't really have enough time to have hurt feelings. So I'm like, you know what? Let me move on to someone else. Let me move on to someone that wants me the same way I like them. Right? So I'm fine with that. But I wasn't really focused on that. I was focused on the fact that she kept saying, this person is going to completely look back and say, look how great you're doing. I made a mistake. The best revenge ever. Kind of like revenge body, right? So anyway, so that was that horoscope. 
Now, the second piece that is continuously coming up for me is they keep saying that I'm going to meet like my soulmate. By the way, I'm drinking. I hope you guys can see it. It's some sort of Chardonnay Pinot Grigio. Look how big the bottle is. And I don't really like wine like that. So I put um, raspberry lemonade in it. And drinking out my favorite water Starbucks cup. I'm addicted to Starbucks cups, guys. Anyway, so I'm supposed to meet my soulmate. Um, I guess that's exciting, right? It said it's going to happen unexpectedly. So, obviously, I don't know where. They keep saying I'm going to be out. And they continuously say that we're going to be friends. Other people have said that we're, we already know each other. However, meaning like we know each other, but we not, we're not together. So, I don't have anyone that I'm friends with that I would even think that we're going to be together. I have an absolutely fantastic friend that I would like to continue to be friends with at all times because... He's a really good friend. And relationships mess up everything. When you have a really great friendship. That's my opinion. If I can guarantee you, I'm not going to be the same. I'm not the same person. Friends wise and relationship wise, like I have a different expectation. If I tell you the truth, just always pay attention right i tell the truth but anyway so supposedly i'm gonna meet this soulmate person we're supposed to be together for a really long time and um they said it's supposed to be like your forever person <gasps> that's so exciting and i don't know who it is weird right but I'm, and I'm trying to tell you guys because multiple different tarot readers, astrologers on YouTube had the same exact message. Now, when they pull the tarot cards out, it's a deck of cards. They all use different decks. They have pretty much the same, let me say, the same tarot symbols, I guess I would say. So they pretty much do. But what will happen is they'll all have like a different creatively like pictured or the 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 art is different. The art is different. So once you see the same like repetitive message, it's hard to deny it. And remember, I only continuously listen to who's who resonates with me. So if I'm listening to a message and I'm like, I don't know what you're saying, what you're talking about, that doesn't make sense, that's not happening in my life, none of it, then that's not my message, right? So I'm talking about messages that literally like very on point, very on deck with what's going on in my life and not just love life right it's like career finance like what they were saying that was great about finance they're like if you feel like kind of like if you feel like you are always like in a struggle but not you're not struggling but like you're always struggling to be like i need more i want more i'm gonna keep progressing i'm gonna keep going forward i'm gonna keep my ideas and my passions and I'm gonna more like that that type of struggle they're like you're going to succeed which was great I could really just take that message and just be okay with it but it was so like cherry on the top where they were like oh you're gonna meet your soulmate you're gonna be find the person that you're gonna completely be with for the rest of your life I hate that I was this old <laughs> It's okay, though. 
sometimes I look at people that have been together since they were like teens and I'm like isn't it nice to have been with somebody that you really like you really care for them you always had somebody you could depend on you never had to do it all by yourself I really appreciate that I also talked to on a similar note I was talking to one of my friends and I said they were like why are you mad because I kind of had an attitude about something business wise and I said I'm just tired of doing it by myself I'm tired of having to watch my own back because I don't know if you're trying to trick me or if you're gonna not pay me or if you're gonna fall out because you're flaky not even like in a bad like a negative way but like you're just a fucking flake like you you're not to, you're not I can't trust you to get this done without my intervention and if I can't I can't completely do it because I work then it just can't be done so I just feel like that part of the struggle hopefully it'll come to an end and I can just make things happen because when I have the ability to like continuously make something happen like bam this worked that worked that worked that worked that really works for me so I'm like extremely motivated to continue I think that is the direction I'm going in right now anyway back to the soulmate but I wish they could tell me what he Mm -hmm. don't you guys want to know I want to know what he's going to look like I hope he's not short short guys always think I like them well I don't don't dislike but Tall is better. Mm, you know what I feel like? Some light. They can curl up all the way around you. Tall is good. I like medium skin tone. Like a caramel. Um, I like someone that likes to literally like do stuff like let's go here let's go there and be creative and like oh let's try this new place let's do this let's go to Vegas for the weekend like what are we we're not doing anything I like that I like that so it wouldn't hurt if um we can ride our bikes together that would be fun We'll see, right? You never know. But supposedly it's supposed to be great. This person is also what they said. They're going to be like very helpful and like in my business. And I'm like, really? I like that. Not that I really have to do business. Like we don't need to share money. But I like people that are helpful because they want to share ideas. Because that's how I am. If I can help you make money and you can help me make money, that's the best thing ever. So, we don't have to share money. But you should want us to thrive, both of us, not just you. I can't be with somebody selfish because I'm not selfish at all. I'll make sure you, you're good. Need anything? If I got it, you got it. I'm just like that. But I'm saying this to say this 2022 is going to be the year. I don't have to base it on the readings by itself. It's going to be the year to upgrade. I already feel it. I don't know if I'm going to move. 
It doesn't have to be a real move, but it has to be a move to more space. I need more space. I wouldn't mind having both places. That's what I would really prefer. I would like a house in like the boonies, what y'all call the boonies out here, like the suburbs. And then I would like to continue to have this spot in the city. So just in case, I want to stay out here then i feel safe i can pull up on my bike and park it and hang out and do whatever i want to do leave a car here things like that like that's so useful in la like if you have to drive all the way home and you live like an hour away hour and a half away you ain't gonna make it i would rather just park go lay down have somewhere to stay and then be like mm -hmm, let me get up and go home bye or I'm gonna stay here the whole weekend. I feel like that's worth it. But that's how I think. So I don't know what's gonna happen. So excited. But I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of my tarot chat. Um, I'm gonna. Let me shout out a few of my favorite tarot readers on YouTube. So, let's see. I for sure like Tyler's tarot. He doesn't have nice Leo readings, but let me tell you, the last few ones have been fantastic. So, I can't even say like, he's been starting to see the energy from like november december like late this year he's been really seeing like the thriving um doing great meeting soulmates type of readings he he even has said like leo these have this has been like the best reading ever like i've listened to him so normally there's like heartbreak and third party relationships and blah blah blah, blah. like i don't want to hear that like you know so it's been Excellente with Mr. Tyler. Tyler is off the Richter scale. Funny, hilarious. He will talk all kinds of shit to everybody that's talking shit in his comments. He don't give no fucks. I love his new home, by the way. Um, he has his jacuzzi in the back. So, he is living the fabulous life of a YouTuber and content creator. Fantastic. I love it. So, he is one of them. Um, I listen to Blue Tarot. Sometimes, she's a hit or miss. She is very consistent. I'll tell you that. Like, she always has a reading for you daily. Um, but she is a hit or miss as far as the energy is concerned. For me, um, she may hit on different energies at the time. And that might be why. I like Steve's Love Tarot. So, like, if you want to listen to, like, a longer tarot and, like, hear his um, comments and, like, he reads the energy and he kind of gives you advice in between. So, that's why it's a little bit longer than the others. Um, usually, tarot readings are, depending on what they are, if it's a daily, it's probably only, like, five minutes or three minutes. If it is one for, let's say, for, like, the week or like the weekend or something like that. It'll be a little bit longer normally. It'll be like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, his readings are sometimes like 45 minutes to an hour. It just depends. So it's good because he, he talks shit and he makes it like interesting. Um, Scent Star, I already told you. And that's Scent, S-E-N-T, S-T-A-R-R, 555. So she's good. She is very like cut and dry like this is how it is and this is what this person is doing i like her i like the way she describes what that person is doing with the tarot cards but she has like a really vivid description like very specific so i do like that part about how she reads um rambling mike is good like his energy energy is so bomb um but sometimes he's a little bit, for me, everybody's different. So don't ever think that. But sometimes he's a little bit of a hit or miss. And sometimes I think the reading is very in favor of his loving energy. So he will exude it, but it might not necessarily be on point. Like, let's say like you have a reading and he's like, 
this person is putting you in a third party but you know what they really are in love with you like no they're not they're not they're in love with themselves because they selfish so not that he's not telling the truth um he could absolutely be telling the truth um but i think his loving energy always gives the like puts the love to the forefront so um that's just my personal opinion none of this is facts right um who else do i have oh eat relove you have to watch eat relove he is pretty damn on point his readings are super they're usually pretty short like 10 12 minutes and then he has like his little commercials in the front so he can show his products and his crystals which are like he has really nice stuff he had like little boxes now he has a little store he has really evolved into like a tarot and a, he does astrology too so don't get me wrong so he, that's why i said his readings are usually pretty on point because he encompasses the the actual um astrology everyone is not an astrologer which is the stars so they are reading based on the planets the stars and their placements and how they're aligned together and what they represent um for a quick example like venus usually rules like love um jupiter is like finances money and things like that and then i can't think of what mars and pluto are and then on top of that they also rule some of the signs so they tell you what the significance is, what their placement is, and why they are going to provide a certain energy. You know the moon also gives us energy too. So the sun, the moon, they all give us different energies. And based on the placements of the other planets, they tell us how we are going to like feel and how the energy of the atmosphere is going to be and things like that. So I think that's helpful. Um, who else do I like to watch? <clears throat> oh, Sunshine Tarot. I like Sunshine Tarot. Um, I think she only reads... I think she only reads once a month. Because I can't recall watching her very often. So I think she reads once a month. Um, that I can remember... Um, she's pretty, she's pretty on point. She really is. She's pretty on point. Um, she has a very specific and direct message, um, based on what she can feel is going on based on the placements of the cards. Whatever comes out, plus she is like telling the story of what's coming. Very, it's usually pretty it's very specific so i don't know what they do to get those stories so specific they're really she's very on point with that very very good i like her for that reason um i like fire intuition <clears throat> very 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 on point for me um it's very specific it's very she's a leo so i like let me tell you this if they're a leo I like to listen to other Leos because I feel like they tell me the truth. <clears throat> People say all the time that Leos lie. Leos just don't tell you certain things. They ain't lying. They don't tell you the damn truth. So I feel like she tell, she's very honest and tells the truth. But, and I like, I love her. I can't listen to her voice for some reason. I have to be in the mood. I have to be something. It's very like, I don't know what to call it. It's very like, and I went to the store and I did, it's kind of like that. And then she's like yelling a little bit. And then I don't know what about that voice is not okay with me. Um, but I like her. It has nothing to do with that. But when I'm listening to something, usually like at work, I'm listening kind of like if it was music so all I hear is their voice and I don't see what they're doing so it's kind of hard for me to listen to her unless I'm if I watch her and listen at the same time it's better because I can see what's happening 
I also like pink pineapple because she's a Leo. She's so soft spoken and she has really great thoughtful readings. And she really gives you like whatever she can feel in that reading. I really like that. Um I just started watching a girl named Tiara. I haven't like formed an opinion of her just yet. So like just wait on that. I like Soulful Revolution. She gives you like really good. Like if you listen to her in the morning, she gives you like really nice readings in the morning. And it's not really like your reading or anything or based on your zodiac sign. It's like a general like statement type of reading like oh it's gonna be like this and if you are uh this sign this is you know what you're gonna feel for the day or this is your energy and I like her I like her a lot she tells you she usually has like a topic and then her reading is based on that topic everybody has like a title so sometimes I don't feel like the title matches their reading but hers is pretty pretty great um sunflowers and spirituality tarot she's been pretty good um i'm just now listening to her watching her so i don't have like a bolted down opinion of her but so far it's pretty good it's in informational i like her um i'm gonna say like everybody else that i listen to they're pretty they're more newer okay so some of the youtubers that i used to watch they're not even on here anymore i can say like the only person that's been real like i've listened to for a really long time is probably tyler um oh black feather black feather is pretty good she has like a daily message or daily kind of like tarot reading she says it's weekly but she has one every single day so um the only thing is let me say this since she reads every day she has a theme and i feel like okay i hear you on what's happening but i don't want to hear about that no more what else is going on what can you forecast for me so she's kind of like a in the moment reader maybe from the da the daily ones um I don't remember if the other ones are different, but Black Feather, she, the daily one has a theme. So she could kind of read that same energy for days or like three, four days at a time. And she's like, oh, and this happened because of that. And the, it's still like based on what already happened. So I don't know. I don't know if I can, I listen to it sometimes and then I turn it off because I'm like, I'm, I don't want to hear that anymore. It has to, something has to change. And I just think, I just think like that. So I feel like something has to change. Something has to get better. Something has to do something, go away. Um, oh, Dash in Between. He's pretty good. And he gives you like a little extended piece at the end, which I like. Um, he has like good insight. I don't know if he's always spot on for me. Um, but I like the way he um, kind of like disseminates the reading. It's really like, it's really like a lot of information. I like um, her Immortal Majesty. The only thing that I don't always care for because I feel like she reads the cards first and then she gives you a story. And I'm like, well, I already know what those cards are not because I already watched, right? I already know what they are. But she reads the cards first and then she kind of gives you the story after she looks at everything. Sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. So that was just like giving you guys like an example of a lot of the YouTubers that I like to watch. They literally have like, oh, they have bazillions of followers. So they're usually doing pretty good on YouTube, but that's just my opinion of who has like really good readings for me or like their energy is the bomb like pink pineapple like she's so like you can feel like her energy and feel like oh my gosh like you have to be telling me the truth she's also a leo so i love that 
Um, some of them, some of them, just their voice doesn't grab me again. I'll listen to them at work or something. So it's kind of like a white noise in a way, but I'm actually listening to what they're saying. So I have to gravitate to sometimes their voice and then I can hear what they're saying. So there's some that I can't deal with, but I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys felt like that was informative and I just gave you a little piece of hopefully we are gonna watch and I get to share with you guys like what's about to happen like it's gonna be crazy so like I'm basically doing like a time capsule of what my tarot reading is saying and we're gonna see throughout this year if it really happens okay so like let's go back real quick so one is supposed to be one of my business or one a business that I have or am going to have is going to be fruitful, thriving, rich, um, boatloads of money coming, gifts, etc. The second one is I'm gonna meet my soul soulmate and we're gonna be together for a long time. So I have to come back to this reading i mean this um, a reading this youtube uh video to see if this really really ends up happening oh my god mm. okay so um again i hope you guys enjoy this is breakfast with miss shine i know it's not breakfast time but you guys already know breakfast to me is chit chatting spilling the tea telling you about what's going on in my life um talking about travel and leisure oh by the way i might be going to aruba y'all i will keep y'all posted um but kind of just sharing like my experiences and you know kind of showing you what this over 40 life is it is a life it is very busy it is very exhausting and I'm trying to get out of this exhaustion mode and get into a thriving self-improvement, self-care. I want to go into that mode and then I will, I want to keep hitting my goals, y'all, like anybody else. So um, I was also, oh, before I go, I know I can just talk forever, y'all. I was listening to Gina Janine today, today, yesterday. Um, and she had like a really great segment about if you want to start something in your life, number one, of course, at the beginning of the year, it's just a benchmark. It has nothing to do. You can start something whenever you want to. I'm just saying it's a benchmark for you to say like January, I started here 12 months later. Look where I'm at right now or look what I achieved in a 12 month period. It's not really about that is January. It's just saying like, okay, first, number one, I can start from scratch. Let's do different things but the moral of the story that I heard was if you want to start something start it regardless of what level you're at she said if you want to save money and you want to have money in your bank account start with five dollars go up to ten twenty continuously make an effort to increase the amount and look where you will be at in a couple months, you'll say like, she was like, look, you have the money for a, a pair of shoes you really wanted. You have money to actually see in the bank, right? So I really appreciated that she said, it doesn't matter where you are. Um, because a lot of times we look at people, they're already doing great, right? And doing great is significant or relevant to whatever you think great is. But the idea is we see people doing great and they're really, we don't know where they started. They can have $5. So if your goal this year is to not live paycheck to paycheck, not feel like you can't do things or go places or jump up and go out of town or put that money away or make plans, save, do whatever. Don't feel stuck and don't feel like you can't do anything. All right. And on that note, this is where I end the vlog. Thank you, everybody. Subscribe, like, and always tune in. Press the notification button so you know when I post again. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed.